Folks, we are here. NFL Alumni Lounge is here on Radio Row, and we have a big member of our NFL alumni family, the CEO of the XFL, Mr. Oliver Luck. Charlie, good to see you. Thanks for having me. It's good to have you here. Uh, so Radio Row is all about doing these fast interviews, right? Let's talk about speed of play that you're going to be bringing in the XFL. So imagine watching, you know, three hours of sort of a two-minute drill. Right? Right. That's, I'm exaggerating, but that's sort of what we want to get to. So um, we've done two things. We've done a number of things, but we've done two things that will really help us play faster, force us to play faster. One is a 25-second play clock. So we've got a ball-spotting official. His only job is to spot the ball, right? And we think that takes about five seconds or so from the previous play, right? Yeah. And then once he spots a ball, boom, the 25-second play clock begins to run. So our coaches, our quarterbacks have to really be on their game, knowing what to call, getting the play in very quickly. Now, so what do you think? I think the way you guys are approaching the kickoffs and the way you're approaching the punts, I think that's something that we're going to see the league looking to bring in. What do you think is going to be the most innovative aspect of the XFL? I think the most innovative aspect and the thing that I'm looking forward to most because it's all about strategy is going to be the extra point option. Mm, so you yeah. score a touchdown, you get six You get six points. Great, right. we all know that. Then we have three options. You can go for one, you can go for two, you can go for three points. You can have a nine-point <laughs> touchdown. Guys, the fashion in the XFL. First of all, that is a beautiful ball that you guys have created. But what was your thoughts when you saw those uniforms unveiled? Oh, I thought the uh, uniforms are, are awesome. Gorgeous. You know, the color schemes, the the, 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 the logos, the secondary marks, the way they all come together. Uh, and that's all Vince McMahon. He's got an unbelievable eye for that kind of stuff. And uh, he did a remarkable job with, with his staff and putting all of that together. I, I think uh, we... You know, you play good when you look good. Look good, feel good, play good, and we cannot wait to see the XFL kick off next Sunday after Super Bowl. Uh, what do you have to tell fans who are going to be tuning in for their first time? Well, I, I think uh, you'll be, you'll find that we're very easy to find on a Saturday and a Sunday. Our, our broadcast partners, Fox, yeah. FS1, as well as Disney, ABC, and ESPN. So all four of our games every weekend will be on national television. Uh, we'll be playing Saturday afternoon, just like the college guys do, and we'll be playing Sunday afternoon, just like the professionals do. So very easy to find. Uh, I think folks will really enjoy this up-tempo, fast-paced game. And we've got coaches. We've got Bob Stoops coaching in, in, in Dallas, Texas. Jim Zorn. Jim Zorn up in Seattle, who's a legend up there. we got Pep Hamilton in D.C., a proud Howard graduate, yeah. you know, who's been around, gosh, numerous NFL and, you know, in and, and, uh, and college teams as, as an offensive coordinator. June Jones down in Houston. You know, June's famous down there for the Absolutely. run and shoot and what he's done. He did way back when with the Houston Gamblers, the Houston Oilers, yeah. you know, various colleges, Hawaii, SMU, up in Canada, Mark Trestman in Tampa Bay. Won a couple of gold uh, gold cups, gray cups. It's big talent there. you brought in. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's some really good coaches. These are football men. And it's cool that you're giving them an outlet to pursue a further career in football. And I got to say, man, the XFL has been a big topic around the NFL alumni because everyone wants to see a successful secondary football league. And everybody, every time the conversation comes up, says Oliver Luck was the right man for this and to deliver this into the end zone. And really, you were the, you, I mean, I hope you know that. And uh, it's awesome to see you. That's all my old NFL buddies just being nice to me. Not nah, man. <laughs> after, after they knocked me out a couple of times. <laughs> but, I'll, but I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you. It, it, it's very kind. Listen, I, I got involved with this because I love the game. Yeah. I love football. I think it's incredibly important to American social life. I think uh, Sunday afternoons, the uh, professional football, the NFL, has become our secular religion to a certain degree. Absolutely, uh, People love the game. It's, it's, it's our national pastime. So I, I wanted to be a part of something like this that could offer all these opportunities for players. We consider ourselves a league of opportunities. Absolutely. And we'll be rooting for you to knock it out of the park. You know the NFL alumni is here to support you. And uh, best of luck on kickoff. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you so much. Well, the XFL kicks off Saturday.